We feel that this is really timely because we've had the 50th anniversary of the creation of hip hop and then we have this election and hip hop has more influence than it ever had before. Obama put me on his summer playlist. He did need a validation of his blackness. If you know, you know. Some people might have saw him do that and thought, oh, okay. They don't know that that was an anthem. We really had to set the stage for what hip hop came out of and the political consciousness that was baked into the culture from the beginning just by virtue of existing in this country and being on the receiving end of presidential policy since the 1970s. The first rapper to engage meaningfully with a president was Easy e And then you go all the way to the other end of that spectrum and you got YG, another LA dude. And so when you approach a YG, when you approach a Jeezy who has probably the most powerful political anthem in history with my president, um, I think that they are, they welcome the opportunity to talk about the making of these records and what was behind it and what they were thinking and their own personal political evolutions. I'm just walking around the house and I keep singing in my head, my president is black. And I look at my man, I say, yo, I'm gonna go to the studio and drop this. Everybody that was in the studio was like, it sounds good, but uh, if he doesn't win, you're gonna look crazy because the album comes out now and, 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 and it's gonna be like, you know, almost five months away from the um, from the election. So I was like, no, he's gonna win. He definitely like got more people to the polls with a song. People who never planned on going. I'm like, oh, you're here because of Jeezy. We feel that there's something in this film, Hip Hop in the White House for everybody. Hip Hop has now become a global, massive, dominant culture. And so the tent is really big. And so what we want people to take away from this film is this is the history of where hip hop comes from. It's not just trivial. A lot of the artists that you think may not have a political consciousness really have something to say. And also we want people to know that we as a hip hop community, those of us who live and love and respect and appreciate the culture, have a power and a voice in this political process that we may be underestimating. And so this year in particular, and in future years moving forward, hip hop has something to say. And that means you, the hip hop audience as well, have a role to play in this process. Want more entertainment news? Follow On The Red Carpet on social and subscribe on YouTube.